This is Scott Goldie Project Concert 150 hanging out at Buzz Band in Canton, Ohio on a Thursday night. I'm here with a band all the way from San Francisco, California. They are in Puritan. And wow, they, the, the description in, uh, on their Facebook page says experimental rock. That hardly, hardly touches the surface. It, it, it like maybe touches the water so there's like a slight wave. These guys are a soundscape experience and a half to behold. Amazing show tonight, you guys. And, uh, and they're a threesome, but they're playing at least five instruments at any given point. And they've got some keyboards in there. And I think probably some, uh, do, you have a, do you have a sample board as well in there? Um, or is that all will be different things there's some looping going on so okay. a lot of the looping i do is kind of um on the fly like if there's not any boards we have them since i don't know it depends on the song really okay yeah, yeah. i'm using i'm using uh, ableton live and triggering samples that are original samples that we've made okay during rehearsals so we'll just like go freeform and then like oh that sounds cool and grab shit and then it becomes a song from an improvisation but everything that you heard our, our original sounds and okay. instruments, and then there's some free improv like sound soundscapes okay. and sound designs. With the and effects. and then you you don't uh, you don't involve lyrics, but you have the like, you use your own voices to sing the the I will call them choral parts of the song, and I I you don't see that very often where a band will will just use the soundscape of the human voice. But not use specific lyrics. There are lyrics. I think there there's, are lyrics. There's, it depends but on the song, yeah. though. Some songs. I mean, you're totally right in the way that some songs might have like oohs no, and ahs yeah. and mm -hmm. nothing else. That, that's definitely the case. Um, but there's other songs, not necessarily ones we may, maybe not didn't play tonight, that are packed with lyrics. There's like okay. A lot, but it's um, yeah. It depends the, on the song. Yeah, it's all over the place. Yeah, I think in general it's yeah. more instrumental, and and the voices are are more of an instrument. But there's definitely some songs that have lyrics. Okay. Awesome. And I should have you go around and introduce yourselves so the world knows who these amazing uh, artists are. David R. Molina from San Francisco. I am Pepe from Peru. My name is Alex Eliopoulos. Okay. And uh, you on the you're amazing back there. Just you're all over the place. And I mean, it's like, oh, what, what, what time signature? They, uh, never mind. <laughs> no, never mind. It's, it's just all wound together so well, and and the drums provide kind of like the the ground for everything in the back because you keep everything moving so well. Um, how long have you guys been together doing this? We started in uh, 2011, actually. Uh, okay. Like yeah, David started. and I initially mixed the first EP and started collaborating back then. Uh, and then we had uh, a few friends in the lineup, so it, was a little, it wasn't just a trio um, in the very beginning. And then like Pepe has been with us for four, four years now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I read an ad in the in the New York Times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, expensive. <laughs> yeah, no I, I do a lot of uh, recording and engineering and sound design stuff okay. too for, uh, for a living. And Alex, I met through playing through other bands that we had and we booked shows together. Okay. I had another band called Ghosts and Strings and he had a band called Spiral Bombs. And that's how we met. So we go back, yeah. Yeah, okay. many years. For a while back. I mean, okay, you, know, uh, you guys are just incredible. Uh, how... Uh, when you, when you guys hit the lab and say, hey, we're going to write, I mean, what, uh, where, where does it start? What's the ground, what's the groundwork for one of your songs? Do you... Um, it depends, but we write a lot out of improv, so that's kind of the core of okay. all these collaborative ideas. And then if one of us has a very concrete idea or something, throw on okay. the table, we definitely do that. Okay. Um, and for more structures, so it's like mixing kind of dissolute or like abstract parts with stuff that's more song based and then like you know combining that in a way that's interesting and uh and when you're actually on stage and you've got and you're, you're in concert it 
How much, how much is actual improv at that point? Or is everything pretty well mapped out by the time you hit the stage? I mean, I think if it's, if it's rhythmic, by then, you know, it's, it's a set structure. But okay. inside of those, we have improvisation. Okay. And then the transitions are complete improv. Okay. Because okay. there's a lot of a lot of stuff to do in between the songs, mm -hmm. like changing pedal settings, tuning, switching instruments, mm -hmm. switching patches on Ableton Live for the next song. So you know, you, you kind of use the, the transitions as a time to not just be silent, but to improvise. Okay, doke. You know, All right. There's a lot of setup. For okay. Each song. But it also sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's uh, it's it's something to hear other than sound. A song ends and okay, silence. Si oh, it's kind of like you know. It's like when you listen to a record. I think of like old Sonic Youth, like Bad Moon Rising. And it's a record that starts and finishes, and it's like doesn't stop throughout the whole record. Mm -hmm. It's like I always thought that was very yeah. cool. When I so it's, you know that kind of approach, I guess, amongst many. I mean, many people have done that since, but it's yeah, it's cool. It's more of an experience of watching something. Like that. Yeah, and I uh, should note you can follow Impuritan on Facebook, um, and they are out on tour right now. Obviously, if they're from San Francisco and they're in Ohio, they didn't just make a stop here. So, where are you headed to next? Philly, Philadelphia, Barbary. Okay, okay. And uh, where after that? In the Brooklyn at Bro Wonders of Nature. Okay. Yeah. And, and you then, can find us at, at Impuritan.net. Okay. Yeah. That, that right. links to all the music. That media. leads to all the music Everything. as well? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Social media. Awesome. Okay, doke. Well, I thank you very much for coming through Canton, Ohio. Thank you. You gave Thanks us so much for quite an experience us. tonight. It was really, really cool. Loved it. And I uh, hope we get to do this again sometime. Thanks. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Ohio.